War veteran Douglas Ray Walls and Navy veteran Danny Joe Mendenhall both passed away without any family. They're considered unclaimed veterans. But as the speaker said at today's service, unclaimed doesn't mean unloved. Hundreds of people showed up at their funeral to make sure their sacrifice for this country was honored. Because otherwise we wouldn't have the freedom to do this at all. A lot of people, including us, found out about the service because of posts on Reddit and Facebook. The turnout was more than anyone expected. It was very moving. Uh, I saw this posted on Facebook and had no idea what to expect, um, how many people would show up, and this was just overwhelmingly fantastic. With no family to accept the burial flags, two community members stood in their place. Ten-year-old Cyrus Fawcett, who's a member of the Young Marines, accepted the burial flag for walls. It was fun. It was nice to be able to do this. Gold Star mother Patricia Lucas accepted the flag for Mendenhall. I am blessed. I am so grateful for all of the service. I'm grateful for uh, that there are times when we can really appreciate them and the sacrifices. Patricia's son, Jeffrey Lucas, was a Navy SEAL. He died in 2005 when his helicopter was shot down in Afghanistan. The things that you give up to be in the service, I don't think people really realize all the time how much it costs until this is the ultimate cost. So uh, I'm, I'm just grateful and I am so happy to be here today. Patricia said it was heartwarming to see how many people acknowledge that sacrifice today by showing up for two veterans they didn't even know. Lincoln Memorial Funeral Home and Dignity Memorial Homeless Veterans Burial Program took care of the costs of today's funeral. They believe all vets deserve to have a dignified service regardless of their circumstances. Back to you.